of eye floaters, the symptoms, causes and treatment. So why wait? Let's dive into it. Have you ever noticed something floating in front of your field of vision? which looks like worms or a blob of hair. And many times patients tell me that it floats in front of me and after you change your glance, it suddenly disappears but unfortunately it reappears. Yes, you would be in this episode if you have heard the terminology called as floaters. So what you are actually seeing is a very common phenomenon and that is called eye floaters. So if you landed up onto this video of eye floaters, I'm sure you're experiencing it or you really want to know what can be done to just get rid of them. So that's exactly the topic for this video of eye floaters, the symptoms, causes and treatment. So why wait? Let's dive into it. Hello friends, I'm Dr. Kumar, doctor from Dr. Eye Institute and this channel of eye logs is everything to do with vision and eye care. If you already haven't subscribed to it, please do so and don't forget to click the notification button so you get notified every time I release a new video. If you haven't watched my previous episodes on my channel, please do so. So far, I've covered a variety of topics which will be a great help to you. And to continue to be resourceful, this special video is made on a very common topic or a phenomena called eye floaters. So what really are eye floaters? They are small spots that drift in front of your field of vision. Scientifically, they are called muscae volitantis. In Latin, it actually means flying flies. Now, what is surprising here is that what you will see is black spots that float in front of you. They will come in your field of vision and they suddenly disappear when you try to focus on them. And these are called eye floaters. Although they translate to flying flies, really there are no bugs inside your eye. This condition of eye floaters is so common that every other day I get a few patients complaining the same. To explain this condition in depth, let me take the help of the eye model so you understand and comprehend it better. Now friends, let me explain to you a little bit about the anatomy or the structure of the eye. The vitreous is a gel-like substance between the natural lens and the retina. So this whole cavity is filled with the vitreous humor. There is a substance like a gel inside the eye between your natural lens and the retina behind and it's called the vitreous humor. It is clear, it is colorless and it forms 90% of your eye structure. 99% of this vitreous humor is water. The rest of it is salt, protein, collagen and sugar. Despite the water to collagen ratio, the vitreous has a firm jelly-like consistency. This vitreous performs a very important role. It maintains the spherical shape of your eye. So now that you have a brief idea of the anatomy of the eye, let's get back to the main topic of floaters. So what really are the symptoms of floaters? As I said earlier, floaters get their name because they drift like small particles in front of your eye. But let us understand what the real symptoms are. So the symptoms of floaters include small dark specks or knobby transparent string like floating material that appear in different shapes in front of your vision. Sometimes they may be spots that move in front of your eye. So when you try to actually look at them, they quickly move out of your field of vision. These spots are more noticeable when you look at a plain bright background such as a blue sky or a white wall. Small shapes or strings that eventually settle down or drift out of your field of vision, that is when they actually do disappear. So let us understand what really causes floaters. One is the most common cause is physiological aging. So as we age, the vitreous liquefies and shrinks, just like a bowl of gelatin that shrinks with time. The protein fibers that make up the vitreous actually shrink down to little shreds that clump together. These stringy clump entities float around or are suspended in the rest of the vitreous. So when light actually enters the eye, it hits those scattered objects and it casts a shadow on the retina. So these shadows are seen to you as floaters. You may see them as specks, strings, strands, blobs or any other shape depending on the clumping of the protein fiber. However, besides aging, there are other causes of floaters that include 
either a torn retina, diabetic retinopathy, some eye diseases and eye injury, some eye tumors, a bleeding in the eye, or if there is a swelling in the back part of the eye and also a condition called nearsightedness or myopia. These are other causes of eye floaters. So friends, we come back to the basic question is, how do we diagnose the cause of floaters that you have? The most important take home message would be that you have to have a retinal checkup. It just implies that you have to put drops, dilate the pupil and get the retina checkup done by a retinal specialist. While most of these floaters are innocuous to the health of the eye and they are harmless, it's important to get a retinal checkup to know the real cause of the floater. So the most important question here is, how do you manage these floaters? So let me take you through the different treatment options available for this, one by one. The best treatment for the floaters is really to do nothing. Yes, you heard me right. The reason for this is that the rate of improvement of the floaters is on their own very good. 90% of these floaters improve on their own and this process is called neuroadaptation. So your brain learns to see with them. So within months of patients reporting that yes, they are seeing floaters, they actually have no complaint after five to six months. Because of the neuroadaptation, the brain has adapted to the image and they are quite fine. The next treatment which is very commonly given is a simple source of vitamin C. So we give vitamin C twice a day for a few months and patients have reported with this treatment that they have really improved. Friends, if you find that these floaters are interfering with your daily activities and it is really interfering with your routine work, uh, I've found that amongst my patients, watch repairers and diamond merchants get affected the most. So there are drastic measures that we can take as treatment options for this. And this comes with its own headaches or set of complications. So the two main options are one, vitrectomy and two, vitriolysis. In vitrectomy, what we are doing is all these floaters that are coming in your line of vision, the patient undergoes a surgical procedure called vitrectomy. We remove those floaters and replace it by a different BSS or a balanced salt solution. In vitriolysis, it's an OPD procedure. It's also called an outpatient department procedure where we actually give laser shots to this vitreous floaters that the patient is seeing and break them down into further small spots. So this procedure is called vitriolysis. So friends, this brings me to the end of this episode on floaters. I hope this episode helped you to clear all the doubts you ever had. And please don't forget to share this episode with friends and colleagues and family. Please stay tuned to this channel of iLogs to be regularly updated all you ever wanted to know about vision and eye care.